Alright guys, what is going on and finally welcome back to our Winnipeg Jets Legend BAGM mode. So as you have obviously noticed, I have not posted a video for about 5 days and that's just not GM, that's absolutely everything on my channel. And what happened was, unfortunately my Elgato ended up breaking, so I had to go buy another one, but I actually didn't end up buying another one. A subscriber of mine actually gave me his, his old one straight up, so I'm going to put his Twitter link in the description because he just is the reason why I'm making videos right now. So big, ginormous shout out to Freak of Hockey. Gave me a free Elgato. I mean, I, I'm blown away right now. I just rushed home ready to make a bunch of videos because I hate sitting around and not having videos up. So let's get into this GM mode where we left off. We're starting year number two and uh, this is weird. I haven't made a video in so long. I'm so stoked. So uh, where our team is at right now, we have a couple moves to make and some big moves at that. So I was reading over the comments and the first one here is from Kevin Hockey. He says the Red Wings are shopping around Connor McDavid. Oh my god! As you can see there, word out on the street is that Connor McDavid is being shopped around. Guys, I'm not going for McDavid. We've had him, you know, they're not going to trade him. Detroit would be out of their mind to trade Connor McDavid. I'm not doing that. We're not getting McDavid, so not going to happen. Comment number two, I guess comment number two and three, but they're basically the exact same thing and they say you should have traded Brian Little what are you doing for Detroit's first round pick? You can give Matthew Perot second line minutes and in year number three and number four, you could be a competitive team. So we have to go back to Detroit and make that move because I wasn't thinking at the time. This is a rebuild. This is not a retool. This is not, you know, be good in, in one year. We're going to be good in three or four years. So we're going to go get that first round pick from the from the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, yeah, the first round pick there. Uh, we're going to get Brian Little, get him out here where is he? His trade value isn't even that great. That's the thing. Uh, I have uh, what we're going to have to trade here is probably going to be a bunch of picks. So I got to give them fourth round pick. I got to give them a sixth and a seventh round pick. I think that'll go through and then give me your worst player for this Parks guy, Trevor Parks. So Brian Little, we're getting rid of a lot of cap. We're going to have, we already have 20 million. We're going to have 24 million in cap ready to go here. So I'm not saying caps can be an issue, but once players like DM Angelo and everyone start, you know, to get ready to where they can play in the NHL uh, and they're going to be, you know, 89, 90 overall players. We can definitely afford them with all this cap. So we're going to get the first round pick. I'm not saying it's going to be a top pick or anything like that, but we are going to get rid of Brian Little. There you go. Welcome uh, that Trevor Parks guy. <laughs> Welcome the first round pick because if you guys remember, Detroit had the first overall pick last year. So what that means, you know, I'm not going to say it's going to be a top pick or anything, but what that does mean is that you know they could have a bottom five pick and that could be a huge player for us so that's a great move thank you for reminding me of that at the time I just wasn't really th thinking about it but we did get that first round pick building for the future so now Matthew Perot is gonna have to step up in a huge way and get the second line minutes so we have Matthew Perot here Loktanov, Galliardi, Smith, Gallagher, Perot, Kane, Palat, Mark Shifley, and Timu so I'm gonna put Kane up there I want to get a better third liner and then put Loktanov on the fourth line because he is 81 overall but if we can get a better third line center maybe someone uh, you know mid 80 with potential that would be awesome but we have to look at our defensemen here because there is some defensemen who can definitely play in the NHL i.e. Josh Morrissey I believe he's 80 overall ah uh, yeah see Mark Stewart is he really even gonna be on our team for the future got good defensive awareness just a really good defensive defenseman and I understand that you do need players like that and he's what he's 31 years old making uh 2.6 million so it's not crazy what about uh Philip Larson here. I like him a little bit better. He's got really good discipline uh, and, and I mean the exact same defensive awareness not even that much of a difference. So I think Mark Stewart's going to be the odd man out because we have Josh Morrissey and he is ready to play in the NHL. I do not want to put him in the minors for another year. He is ready to go. This guy can go down. Where is he? Josh Morrissey. He's 80 overall listed as a top six. I'm going to play him as a top six. So we have to make a trade. Uh, Clitsum as well. So we can send 
we can either package Klitsum and uh, somebody else here. We're going to package Klitsum and we're going to have to package um, somebody else. Maybe we could trade for a third line centerman or a third line winger like I wanted. I'll have a look around the NHL uh, to see, you know, what there is available. Uh, let's see here. Uh, have a quick look and then I'll get back to you guys. So I'm looking around for a decent two-way centerman and Austin Watson is the guy. He's rev he's extremely young, 23 years old, three red star. Uh, we could trade both of those defensemen easily for Austin Watson. Uh, he's good enough. To, he's 82 overall. He's good enough to get the job done. Uh, let's see here. Defenseman. I want to make sure I make the right deal. I'm not sure if he's going to, you know, even be the player that we want for the future, but I do want to get a play. He's listed as a fourth liner. What's Loktanov listed as? Uh, if he's listed as a third liner, I'll just play them as is. Uh, third and a fourth. Uh, he's listed as a depth player. So he could play on the fourth line, probably put uh, Austin Watson on the on the third line because let's face it guys we're not going to be a good team this year I know that and I'm well aware to tank this year once again so let's see if we can make a move here uh where we got Klitsum he's got essentially no trade value and we got Mark Stewart who has some trade value we're definitely getting rid of more cap here which is definitely nice is there any cheap prospects I could get I'm probably gonna have to get someone uh with uh cap uh Fowla, he's three stars. Uh, that will go through, actually. Kevin Fowla, he's three stars, three gold stars. Um, I mean, he's probably not going to be anything, but I uh, just kind of want a better player. This Murphy guy, there's no way we're going to get him. He's uh, four stars. Yeah, he looks pretty good. We can go after that Fowla guy, though. So let's see. Watson and Fowla for Klitsum and Stewart. Will that go through? That base, that's pretty even. I think that should go through. If it doesn't go through, there's uh, I'm going to have to add some picks, like some later round picks. But let's see if it's going to go through. Grant Klitsum and Mark Stewart for basically Austin Watson and a prospect. Yes, it did go through. That's a really nice trade. I like that trade a lot. So, now we're, just, we're making moves here. We're making moves and we're basically almost ready to go here. But I wanted to get those moves done. I wanted to get the first round pick from Detroit. I'm hoping that Detroit tanks this year. That would be awesome. So we're going to go here, we're going to go here, and that's looking like it's it. What's Loktanov's face-offs looking like? 70 where Odell is probably a little... Where Odell's is only 60, so Loktanov's going to get the center spot right there. Uh, Galliardi can probably hold down the third line. I'm just trying to strengthen our team a little bit. And then Jimmy Alexiak, Josh Morrissey, Larson, that's looking good. I kind of want to move Morrissey up because uh, I know his offensive category is just stupid. Look at that 99 slap shot power. This guy's a forward, man. This guy is a forward. I did not tamper with this guy's potential. I was looking at it and I was saying, why the hell is he five stars? You can go back in like the first episode where I showed him and he grew to five stars. He was not five stars as it is. So that's crazy that he grew that much already in one year. Let's check out the progress reports on him. I'm actually blown away that he's five gold stars. Why did he go to five gold star. I didn't tamper with his potential at all. Uh, five gold stars. Let's check out the progress reports. I guess it actually doesn't show anything here because I probably should have checked at the start of last year, but he must have grew a shit ton over the year. Look at that. Five gold stars. Why is he five gold stars? I don't understand. He shouldn't be that good. Why is he five gold stars? You can go check back at, the, at like the first uh, episode where I, where I went over everybody. I did not put him to five stars. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, so we have a five-star player here. He looks like, a, honestly, if you ask me, he looks like a forward. If I was gonna, oh, should we play him as a forward? <laughs> no, we gotta play him to where he was at. Oh shit, I didn't mean to uh, send him down. I gotta go get him back. So I mean, Josh Morrissey, he is a ridiculous player. Why is he so good? 99 slap shot power. He's, a, he's an already, he's gonna put up like... 20 goals this year as a rookie. His defensive awareness and discipline is crap. He is extremely offensive. 99 slap shot power, 99 agility, 99 body checking. He's actually just a monster. Um, why is he so good? I have no idea, but I mean, I'm going to keep it like that, I guess. Uh, our defensive core is looking scary. Uh, Josh Morrissey, holy shit. Okay, so let's put Josh Morrissey on the power play. He's already on there. Uh, I want him to get as many goals as possible because with that offensive category, 
Oh my god, that is scary. That is terrifying. All right, so here's our HL team here. It's looking pretty scary. Nicholas Patan, Bjorkstrand. We have prospects out the ass here. Defensively, uh, D'Angelo, uh, Ekholm. We are actually a really scary team in a couple of years here. And we have Eric Comrie. He's going to get the start in the minors. And we're going to go with Pavlik and Reimer here. I'm still I'm still going to roll with Reimer. I'm not giving up on him yet. That's not my plan at all. So let's get at least one month of simulation done. Our GM rep went up. That's great. Uh, earned pro status. Things are happening. We're going good. Uh, but that's actually crazy. I'm really confused as to why his uh, his stats are so ridiculous. Uh, that was just a uh, tender qualifying offer for uh, Drayson Bowman there. But 6-1 uh, in our first preseason game. 3-1 in our second. I'm not thinking we're going to be, you know, an amazing team, but if we could squeak into the playoffs, you know, there's not, I mean, I'm looking at the team and it's not looking that terrible. Uh, we're three and one in the preseason. Obviously the thing that I would uh, like is a much better second line centerman. Now that we got rid of uh, Brian Little, that's kind of a hole that's on our, that's, you know, on our team right now. But other than that, um, I think we have prospects in, you know, every, every category that we you know is important and everything that that, uh, you know, we need to be a, to be a competitive team and to be a Stanley Cup winning team in three or four years. So let's get one month here and then you guys can tell me what your thoughts are so far. But here we go. First period of game number one, year number two, a new look Winnipeg Jets, a much younger Winnipeg Jets. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, 15 to 8. Second period, one nothing. The score Scoring machine, Jakub Voracek, guys, a monster this year. Dustin Bufflin, 23 goals last year, and he waits no time. There you go, Zach Bogosian gets another one, 2-1 to one there. Our defensive core is killing it. There's a couple comments saying that your defensive core isn't that great. 3-1 to one there by Loktanov. Uh, people saying, you know, your defensive core isn't that great, but, if, you know, if anything, I'm excited for the defensive core. Uh, I'm so stoked that we have all of these prospects in place, and actually, Josh Moore. Morris, he had a assist in his first game there, but he could easily be a forward. Maybe, maybe, you know, depending on how he does in the first couple of months, I'm thinking we should move him up to be a forward. That offensive capability is ridiculous. Put him alongside, you know, uh, Timu and, and Mark Shifley. There's your first line for the next 10 years. And if Josh Morrissey gets to be the player that, you know, I'm hoping for, I really have no idea why he's so good. I didn't edit anybody. There's no reason why he should have 99 and everything already at, you know, 20 years old. That is ridiculous. Austin Watson leading our team in goals here. Uh, we're 2-2 two and two now. We've got three goals. Brendan Gallagher, three helpers. Uh, there goes our hot start. We're now 2-3. and three. But if we can get another top pick, by all means, I am I'm so game to have another top pick. And if Detroit is starting to suck as well, that would be amazing for us. So, I don't know. A couple questions for you guys. I asked about Dustin Bufflin, move him up to a forward. Didn't really make much much sense. Uh, so what I'm going to think, Josh Morris, he could easily be a sick forward for us. Like, that's a really good I idea. I mean, the, the Dustin Bufflin thing, it's nice, but, you know, Josh Morrissey, bringing him up being that young, such an amazing forward with that offensive cap capability would just be sick. Huge 8-2 win there. No, actually, let's get one more month done here. Uh, that We are now 3-7-0, and oh, so definitely not the hottest start at all, but that's fine. That's, uh, that's totally okay. Uh, where's Detroit? Detroit is... Oh, wow, they're having really good. What? Why are they so good? They're like second in the NHL after being the last overall team last year. That's weird. We're last in the NHL. We're second last in the NHL. That's fine, though. That's totally fine. No worries at all. Let's get one more month of simulation done, and then I will see your guys' comments, and then we'll move on from there. Huge 6-4 to four win there. Dustin Bufflin putting up some numbers. Six goals already. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Back-to-back uh, -back here against the Islanders. We lose one, and we win one at home. 7-4. I'm sorry if you can hear my voice. It's kind of got a bit of a cold. I'm just getting over a really bad flu. That's why I'm kind of sound all na all nasally and gross. I've I've had to take like ten water breaks all already. But our five nine and oh, Dustin Bufflin leading the way with seven goals. We're gonna still send this one here. Wow, why is Detroit killing it? Uh, first period zero zero. Second period two 0 
nothing. Austin Watson and Jacob Truba, they started their backup on us because they know we're not good. But we are up here 2 nothing going into the third. And oh, Justin Applicator cuts the lead in half. Come on, Reimer. Hold it down, buddy. It's rhyme time. Brendan Gallagher. Atta boy. Atta boy. Good British Columbia boy. Austin Watson gets another one. He's looking like he's a pretty good pickup. He's got a couple of goals here, Austin Watson. Nice uh, little third line addition there. It's a six goal. Three points then in that game. Wow. Austin Watson. Atta boy. We beat Detroit. That's really good news for us because we want Detroit to tank and we want us, you know, maybe sneak into the playoffs. But, you know, I'm not thinking we're going to be a competitive team this year. Next year, definitely. And that's what you guys are going to have to talk to me about. You know, Josh Morrissey. What are we going to do there? Um, I think we have the capability to be a, a really good team. It's just making the steps to get there. And we are doing that. There's no rush. Uh, but let's just get this one over with here. We got a couple more games, so this month is over. We're halfway through here. Team with Solani, 14 helpers. We're 7, 9, and 1. I'm not looking to get you know, a starting goalie quite yet, because why get a starting goalie when we suck? Let's draft a goalie. That's why I want to get these top picks. Let's draft a really good young goalie. Goal we have Eric Comrie coming up. There's no reason for us to go trade for, you know, uh, Ben Bishop or, you know, Robin Lane or somebody like that. There's no reason at all because we have Eric Comrie. We have a couple other really good uh, goaltending prospects coming up in the minors. So there's no reason for us to rush this. Let's take our time and let's make sure we're going to be a good team in a couple years. Dustin Bufflin, 10 goals already. boy, big buff. Team of Solani, 16 helpers. Bufflin just a scoring machine man he is an absolute monster he's already got almost half his goals from last year and we're not even out of november yet that's ridiculous uh on a three game winning streak here all right boys let's let's, let's make this above 500 that'll make me happy well, there we go another win that's what i'm talking about we're ending this month off on a really good note bufflin 12 goals already add a boy how many wins is that in a row that's what's well, a four game winning streak and we kill it seven to three there all right let's check the uh let's check everything here let's do a quick little wrap up uh whoa big trade Toronto had Le Cavalier, what? Uh, I guess they got Limbeck and a couple prospects for Le Cavalier, that was weird. Uh, anyone else here, let's check where standings are. We are currently, uh, where are we actually? Winnipeg, see we're not doing too bad. We're third in the Central, 25 points. Uh, Detroit, we're going to keep a big tab on Detroit here, 31 points. Fourth in the Atlantic. Goals, uh, we are not up there. Bufflin's got 12, he's probably like 10th or our 11th in goals. Nash, Verbata, and Voracek are your top three. Assists, we got Korea, Kopitar, and Theo Fleury. Uh, points, Gretzky, Hall, Korea, Kopitar, Backstrom, uh, Carlson, Yashin, and Ovechkin. That's weird to just look at all these legends. Uh, wins, we're number, uh, we're tied for eighth with James Reimer. So that's not bad. I'm not rushing anything. I'm going to keep the way it is. We're going to stay on this pace. Patience is a virtue, and we're going to be a good team. I promise you guys. Oh god, this sucks. All right, so Timu Solani is a point-a-game player, 26 points in 24 games. Dustin Bufflin, 24 points in 24 games. Wow, this guy is getting some hot live cards. That is for sure. He's killing it this whole year. 12 goals, 12... Uh 12 goals, 12 helpers. That's awesome. Evander Kane, 19 points. Raleigh Smith, 19 points on the third line. Uh, Jacob Truba, 18 points. Mark Shifley, only 16 points. But we're getting a lot of scoring here from our third line, from our defense, from our from our first line. I'm okay with that. Austin Watson, 13 points. Loktanov on the fourth line. We're getting points from everywhere. Josh Morrissey, five goals. Uh, Brendan Gallagher, kind of slacking, but you know he's kind of a two-way player. He plays a good 200-foot game. No reason for him to put up a lot of points. Uh, Palat, kind of the, you know, kind of opposite of Palat. I would like Palat to put up a couple more points. Uh, Perot, um, you know, that whole, this is the second line, and uh, our third line is, our third and our fourth line is outperforming, I guess only by one point. You know, we're only 24 games in, I guess I shouldn't really say that. Uh, Galliardi on the third line, Bogosian, Alexiak, Lowry, Larson, and, o and Odell. Uh, rookie skaters, we have two, Adam Lowry, and Austin Watson. Shouldn't Josh Morrissey be classified as a rookie? Why isn't he as 
Why isn't he classified as a as a rookie? That's weird. Uh, James Reimer is nine and eight, and Andre Pavlik is three and three. I can't even trade Pavlik if I wanted to. That's the crappy thing. No one will take his contract, so that really sucks. But let me know what you think, guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and there will be. So let me know what you think, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.